Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Deba. Welcome to Whiskey Mystery, and this is our part two, or round two, of our 17 bottle compass box shootout. We were just having a little warm up on Tomatin 12, because it's similar, I think, to what we're about to have. Mmm. More just to get that first alcohol, you know, hit out the way. Nice. Okay, originally we thought this round was going to be rich with peat because we did rich alone last time. But I'm not that sure that we actually have peat in here. Let's uh, pour them. It seems like the, the peaty ones are more in the light Ardbeg 10 style. The far ice of beef. Yeah, but we didn't... We didn't find any heavily peated, did we? Mm. I mean, it's heavily peated. We just didn't find the heavily peated in the rich ones. Anyway, we have four to get through and we are going to eliminate some. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly go through them and give our first impression. Mostly just how it makes us feel, excited or not. And um, then we'll do our proper homework. It's all right. Let's just get, do you want nose or taste? Oh, not much. Okay, you missed your chance, no tasting. Oh. All right. Mm. Quite pleasant. Hmm. Little kind of mm, little, oh, that. bit of bit of spice there as well, though, isn't there? European oak spice, I think. I so mushy soft. Okay, number ten. Mm. Little richer. Grass. Not much. Ooh. Mmm. A little more rounded and rich. Mm. Okay, you have a taste on 16. Mmm, a bit different. A bit more grassy lemon, I think. It's a bit fat. Fat, I that. Yeah, that is a bit flatter, isn't it? Okay, last one. Number 17. So maybe there is a touch of peat on this one. I don't think there's any peat in here. Okay, some more darker, funky, ashy things going on with that. So we're gonna have to leave that one to last. So we're gonna go and do our homework. Oh, do you have an initial reaction? That one? It's okay. You didn't like you didn't like the peaty one. Hi. Hmm. I'm looking forward to this one and this one. Right. Um. What did I say? Homework time. See you in a bit. Part of the problem with blends is that everything kind of ends up in the middle. <laughs> um. Is that a salad sauce? Salad. That's very similar sauce. Yeah. I mean, even now, having just tasted them, there's nothing that's jumping out. And I'm then, of this. That's true. 17 is the most different because it does have Ash this... Beak. Okay, let's just go with names. We call this one Ashy Warmth. Number 16 is Neutral Sophistication. 10 is Waxy Stems. And 8 is Rolling Warmth. Let's go with neutral sophistication first because it literally is the most neutral isn't it we've left one glass empty is there any hint of smoke or funkiness or anything in here no but i'm getting a milk chocolate that's the first thing this glass has been empty for a while and there's almost nothing left which tells me that there aren't really any oily dense things okay you get one sip and we're trying to remember what we thought about it. Yeah. A very thin, light, watery, a fine pepper, 
It could be a uh, European oak. Oh yeah. Nicer than I was expecting. A very fine pepper with a kind of light, light fruit. Touch of sweetness. And thin oil. Very minimal yeah. flavour. Oh, actually a bit of caramel coming now in the finish. I'm getting a bit of mint. Okay, a delicate sweetness and integrated fine pepper. A sherry, very little maybe, sherry. Maybe 10% sherry. I finish, no, finish. Okay, let's go to number 10, waxy stems. Yeah, that, that has this kind of a green stems, you know, cut stems kind of mixed with honey thing going on. I can start to get of sour vinegar drops. A few drops of vinegar in there. Mm. Actually quite rich, quite integrated. Get it a malt, malt, a malt that beer, but not really. I don't get the beer thing. I get a sort of grassy honey. So maybe that's the same type of thing. Sort of a grassy honey oil. Or maybe an overripe red apple a little bit. And I'm to get it a funny fine pepper. So again, it could be your oven. Oh. Yeah. Maybe slightly higher ABV. If this is 43, this one might be 46. Mm. But they could also just be the same. So it's hard to tell. I, uh, for about to finish. Oh, finish. It does go slightly tannic. I've got a little bit of this sort of licorice dust. Uh, A bit more going on here than here. Mm -hmm. Better or not? Not so sure. It's better that this, just because this is too weak. Okay, rolling warmth. Okay, light caramel nuts, that does make sense. I was reading my own notes thinking, really? But it does come across compared to this one. It doesn't have the green stem thing. Rolling warmth is, again, a touch sweeter. Um, get it out of uh, apple vinegar, but then nuts. I need. You're getting apple vinegar again? Okay, we've hardly, we've drunk a bit too much of this one. Mmm. Little red apple again. Spiced honey. And grassy. Bit of grassiness. Quite warm and sort of developing. I, I like it. It's sort of a uh, bush. There's definitely, well, I say definitely. I don't think there's any peat or anything in there, but there's a slight earthiness to it. I know food is more of the savoury. Uh, Danish. More. Yeah, I mean, we know that Compass Box uses Kleinlish a lot as a base. It's a tiny bit chocolatey in there. So maybe there is a bit of oh, yes. sherry now. Vanilla, chocolate, mm. maybe it's sherry from... Well, we got the spiciness of European oak as well. Maybe there's a bit of vanilla from um, American oak no, as well. No, I don't think you're over oak. Well, I was thinking that sort of chocolatiness, that sort of vanilla. Oh, this is going to be a struggle. Okay, no, finish. Can I have this? I think it's sweeter, I think it's more open, earthy. I find these quite difficult to, to separate. Um, okay. There's more water. Okay. Beat. Ashy warmth. Now this one, this one definitely does stand out, doesn't it? It's, it's multi charred malt. Mmm, quite, quite rich, nice rounded maltiness to it. 
Weetabix for me. Sweet Pete. Sweet Pete. Now I got something, there's something sour. I couldn't really identify it. Wet, wet Pete. Uh, sweaty. A little bit sweaty. Sweaty. Sour leather. Something like a little undertone. ABV wise again, I think they were all sort of in the same world. Yeah. Oh yeah, that little toasted, toasted malt. I can start with ocean, ocean, sea salt. A bit, a bit ocean, a bit coastal. I share, I think more sherry than any of mm. them. So smoky, smoky sherry. <laughs> Grass, but okay, no fruit. I get, much. I get a little bit of the nuttiness there. What kind of peat? I think it might be Highland peat. I, I think it's Ira. This ashy. Is it heathery? Could it be Ardmore? Mm, no. Which one do you like the least? Yeah. We got it very weak. I'm trying, no. Okay, I think I'm fourth place there as well. Third place. <laughs> I said third place. <laughs> okay. You got third place. Third place. I'm. But I give Skippy because first I have beat. I stuck it at Grammys. So you think this is heavily climbish? When I went back to it the second time, I was like, oh, it's not quite as impressive as I thought. And I thought maybe this one was better. Oh. All right, I'm just going to follow deeper. <laughs> that means... Right, give it a third piece. Just going back, originally I thought this one was better. So we're... Oh. So we're... We're only going to put this one forwards. Now, if you remember yesterday, do you think this one is better than the two that we put forward yesterday? Oh. I almost did fuck off, but I think it might be better. You better fuck off than me. They're not important. Yeah, it might be. I think, though, we're not going to reveal it. We're just going to keep it. Oh, that's so beautiful. In case in the final round we want to come back and have a look at that again. But that means we are going to reveal these two. And this. What about the fourth piece? We're going to reveal these two, yeah? So, where would you put this on the shelf? I guess we can drink some more now. <laughs> we were initially quite dismissive, weren't we? Mm -hmm. We dismissed it as being too simple, but I actually started to think mm. it was it was actually maybe quite old. And actually very good. Yeah. But I, I mean, I mean, for the step of you, I thought about it dismissed, but I got as ooh. It's pretty good. I was there. Uh, it's better than this. No. Would you put it there? Somewhere in here? Okay, we're thinking 43%. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's compass box. <laughs> <laughs> it is compass box. Transistor. Transistor is 43%. And $115. What are you just trying to Transistor. No. Now, unfortunately, I don't know enough about Compass Box to be able to say, oh, it's the one with grain. You know what I should have done is printed out some notes. We could have looked it up. So, um, I'll... So what did we think about it? Um, but I thought, again, it's pretty nice. Compass to all of it. I was there maybe something... Okay. I might have to edit and we'll come back after doing a little bit of research. Okay, so this one, Waxy Stems, number 10. Are we, we're saying this is better. So we're saying this is up here. We could put it next to Kleinlish. All right. We thought this was 46%. Yes. Okay. 46. This is, 
Oh, well, oh. it is 46. Spicy. This is Spice Tree Extravaganza. I don't know how this relates to Spice Tree, but. Um, that makes sense because of peppery. But we didn't really say this was very spicy. Okay. Um, we put it higher. Okay. Let me edit because I want to do a little research on these two. After extensive research, we have learned almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's not go, in, you know, you can actually go to Compass Box and you can download a fact sheet normally. Transistor didn't have one. Um, it did say that it is a blend of malt and grain whiskey. First fill American barrels, but then a little bit of French oak thrown in as well. So, um, I, so I guess it's that grain whiskey which was making it that sort of neutral complexity. I never really know how old things are with Compass Box. Um, but anyway, malt and grain transistor. Spice Tree Extravaganza fundamentally is an older version or a, I guess a more sophisticated version of Spice Tree. So we did like it more. We have put it up a bit higher. That fact sheet was a bit more complex, a bit too much to go and read through. So um, that's more a case of... I've got a thick spanner. Yeah. But um, a more expensive version of Spice Tree. What, how are we feeling about it so far? I mean, I would buy it again. You wouldn't buy them again. What about this one? I'm not bad. I mean, it's the best part of all, I think. That's because it's soccer. So this one is going to go through. And I'm going to put number eight, sort of. You know what, what I'm trying to think about is, did we like this one more than we liked the ones from yesterday? And I'm not sure. I'm just gonna put it behind, in here, with number 17. And we might pull it out a bit later. So I think tomorrow we're going to go through all the light ones. There's five to get through. See if we like any a bit more. 